Hello Year 11, it's Mr Gundy here. I'm just checking in with everybody. Hope everybody's well. Uh, I'm currently sat in school in an empty room, so I do feel a little bit strange talking to a screen. I wish, I really wish that you could all be sat in the assembly hall and, and see you face to face. Hopefully, you never know, that could happen in the next few weeks and months as we're all getting used to the new ways of working and hopefully um, getting the vaccine um, through to communities and stuff like that. Myself and all your teachers are in in, the, in school. Mr. Raymond's in. Um, so this is, this is just a little message to you all uh, to try and help you, to support you, and to let you know that we are here if you need anything. Uh, so we're just going to talk a little bit about surviving lockdown, and then later on I'm going to um, show some certificates that have been given out uh, for people that are doing really well with the home learning. Um, if if at the moment you've not got to the point where you you're doing home learning or not enough home learning. Please just make a start. That's what we're asking for today. This, it, I'm speaking to you today. It's Monday morning, the 18th, and we need you to start getting into a routine and of just making a start on the work, and then it will become easier as you go in. Okay? Now, as I've just mentioned, we've been here before. It's not the first lockdown. Um, and if you're anything like me, it's starting to feel it a bit. So it's not it's not just you, it's not just, you know, a few people here and there. A lot of people are getting fed up with the situation, as as I am, Mr. Raymond is. Your teachers are all fed up of it. And it's it's how we deal with it that's that that's important now and getting the, the most out of of being at home and, and the, the time that you've got to do your work because year eleven is a very important year as we know. What I would say at this point is don't worry too much. All you can do is control what you can control. The virus and the situation you can't control. Okay, so don't worry about it. The things you can control is your routine at home and your how much work you, you're able to do. If, for example, some of that is out of your hands because of technology, let me know. And I am doing my best to get everybody the technology they need. But there is also a, a priority list that we have to go through first in terms of making sure everybody has at least some kind of access to, to technology but if that is a problem we do know about most of you but please get in touch and let myself or Mr Raymond or your farm tutor know if you're really struggling to do the work because of technology okay now it is a little bit different this lockdown obviously it's a bit miserable out there it's freezing it's raining it's snowing it's really cold it's not great weather um it, that's made a difference to the way I'm, i've been feeling this lockdown obviously in the summer it was it was lovely i was able to go out for walks with my daughter to the park in the garden and it is very different this time um, it feels different because we're all a bit locked up more in our houses um as you know as most of you should know by now if if you don't know uh, lessons timetabled lessons have started this morning um, so if you are not yet on teams please get yourself onto teams and follow your normal timetable from from monday through to th to friday all of your lessons are on there there is a big gap in between lessons a bigger gap than normal between your lessons that's for your teacher to get the the technology up and running and to get things uploaded to teams that need to be there so your lessons are a little bit shorter the time between lessons is a little bit longer and your teacher may not necessarily be talking live to you they may put recordings on there they may explain things on recordings but they will be there to be for you to chat to on the chat during that time okay so please get yourself in a routine as i mentioned get yourself on teams and follow your normal timetable now feelings this is where this is this this is not just going to affect you as as year 11s this is affecting vast numbers of society we're all feeling a little bit fed up and a little bit down a bit stress you may be stressed and frustrated about your work um as we've mentioned we still need to be producing work because you, you teach all of your teachers need that evidence okay to to give you a grade so don't get stressed if you're feeling stressed, contact your tutor and contact me or Mr. Raymond if it's work related and if you're feeling that you can't do the work, and we will help you. Some of you will be bored. I'm getting bored. I feel like all I'm doing in my life is sitting on my settee watching football. And I never thought I never thought I'd see the day where I was bored of watching football, but I am bored of watching football. So again, you are not the only ones. Everybody's feeling it, and it's how we deal with it, and it's how we get through it, and we've got to look to the future. And, and realize that we will get through it soon 
Now, all these, all these uh, emotions that I'm putting on the screen now, overwhelmed, unmotivated, fed up, relieved, happy, we all go through these at, at different times of different days. Um, and I'm just going to give you some few, a few tips now to how to deal with all these lockdown feelings. So these are 10 tips. Firstly, I've mentioned this already, you do need a, a good routine. So I'll just give you an example, um, not mentioning any names, but we're making lots of phone calls each week. So we're trying to contact every child in the school once a week by speaking to them. And what your farm tutors are finding, and then myself and Mr. Raymond are finding, is that lots of children are staying in bed too long and have been made probably going to bed too late and staying in bed too late in the morning. What you need to do is get yourself to bed earlier, get up earlier, and get your body working, get your mind working, and get in the routine, which, which is why the timetable lessons will help you. Get, make yourself a list. Okay, so I mean your list for school days now is, is pretty much done for you because that's your timetable on Teams. If you go into Teams on your home page on the left hand side, if you click on your calendar, your, your timetable should be on there. And that really is your to-do list. It may it may be that you need a to-do list after your lessons have finished, which will include some things that will be like well-being things, like maybe go for a walk with your parents or do some exercise. But make a list and try and stick to it and that will that will be a, a form of motivation for you. Exercise. I've, I've, I've told you about exercise and it, the benefits I feel from it in assemblies before. It's, it is really, really important to me personally. It, when I am feeling down, fed up, stressed, by the bad day at work or a, a bad day in general, I will go for a run or some form of exercise. Obviously, when, when we're not in lockdown, I'll go and play football. But it, every single time I do that, it makes the difference. So give it a go. If you, even if you're not someone that exercises much, give it a go. For me personally, it's the best thing that works for, to, for my mental health. If I'm in a mood, my wife will say to me, will you just please go for a run? I'll go for a run and I'll come back a different person. So try to get in your routine somewhere some exercise, whether it's a walk, a run, a um, high intensity session, a Joe Wick session, something like that, and it, it, it will really help you. Just some information there about that from the from the NHS. A lot of it is linked to chemicals in the brain. When you exercise, it releases chemicals in the brain that, that automatically make you feel better. Obviously, a balanced diet. I find this tough in lockdown. I don't know about you, but when I'm at home, I'm, I'm at the fridge every two minutes because I'm bored. I'm looking in the fridge. What can I eat? What can I eat? Biscuits, chocolate, crisps. And it is difficult when you're locked up in your house and you've not got as much, as many things to be doing. You end up not eating as healthily as you should do. So think about your diet. Try and eat some fruit and veg, because again, that is that alters the chemicals in your body, and that can that can make you feel better. And water is very important. It, if you if you're dehydrated, you'll feel you'll feel tired. You'll feel unmotivated. So as we're trying to get motivated and less tired, it's obviously important that you're drinking lots of water as well. 10 glasses of water a day. Try and get it, again, we're talking about routines. Get into the routine of, of drinking water more often. The, the, again, limiting sc screen time. I, as a, as a 40 odd year old person who's not really into social media, I'll be honest, the only thing I've got social media wise, I think, is WhatsApp. But even I am finding screen time an issue because I'm bored. So, for example, over the weekend, I'll be WhatsApping my fantasy football group about the football that's going on. And after a while, I think, oh, what am I, I've been on my phone here for about three hours, this is boring. So even I am saying to myself, limit your screen time. So what I'm starting to do now is go and block me, put my phone in my bedroom in a drawer out of the way and get rid of it so it's not just sat next to me where I can just pick it up every 10 seconds and check something, check the news, check the sport, check my WhatsApp group. And, and it just gets, it almost becomes a habit and it's not healthy. So what I would recommend is, is go and put your phone somewhere out of the way and take your mind off your phone and go and do something different. Again, the news, the news at the moment can be depressing when we know that the news like to hype things up, they like to sensationalise things and 
um, and they're trying to get you to buy newspapers to, to, to read websites and stuff like that and it can be depressing um, so limit it know what you clearly need to know what's going on but don't don't get yourself over worried and over stressed about what you're reading and seeing stay stay keep it within your bubble and, and look after yourself and those people around you which leads on to talking to your friends and family it's really important to talk to people it just it's the old saying a problem shared is a problem halved and if you can talk to someone it makes you feel better because it's a normal human need is to, is to communicate with other humans. If, for example, you, you feel at the moment there's nobody you, you really can or want to talk to, there are people in, and there are people in school that you would talk to, let me know, okay? If you, or let your farm tutor know, let a teacher you trust know, and we will help you with that, and we will, we will contact you, or we can get someone to contact you. Very important that you ask for help. As I've mentioned, there will be lots of people you don't realise who, who are struggling a little bit emotionally, mentally, or during lockdown. I am big enough to admit that I, I struggle sometimes. I have days where I'm depressed, and well, I, I wouldn't use the word depressed, but I'm a bit fed up. Um, if that's you and you're a bit fed up, ask for help. Okay, whether it's someone in your family, or it's your farm tutor, or a teacher you trust, or me, or Mr. Raymond, just ask. Send us a message, you don't have to speak to us, just say, sir, I'm a bit fed up, can you help me? And we will help you. And more importantly, keep contacting your friends. Obviously, we, we can't encourage you meeting up with your friends because we're in lockdown, but you can with, with phones and, and uh, social media, keep in touch with your friends and support them, support each other. And just ask if someone is okay and if they need any help. There is support available, uh, as I've just said, contact your tutor on Teams or email or a phone call. Your tutors are phoning you every week. If you've not yet spoken to them, can you please contact them because we need uh, a contact number that we can get you on every week. If you're, if, you're at, if you're in year 11 now and you've not yet spoken to your tutor or to myself or Mr. Raymond, please contact them with a phone number that we can get you on. We're there, we are here to help you. Um, if you've got anything to report or any concerns, there is also now help on the on the school website. If you go onto students on the home page and select your year group, there is a, a drop down menu there where you can report any concerns and it, it'll be anonymous. Okay. And then there are, there are things outside of school, such as cooth.com. It's free on, online advice for young people. So even if, you know, if you've got 10 minutes spare, go on cooth.com, have a look. You may not need it, but it may become useful for you. So we're going to move on now to uh, some some um, awards for online learning. Uh, as you might guess from that particular picture there on the PowerPoint, we do have uh, some students that have done particularly well this week. Um, so in English, this week, we have Aras Ahmed. Um, and it says on there, absolutely fantastic exam response to a Christmas carol from Miss Slatter. She was absolutely delighted by it. So well done, Sir Ass. Trying to find, try, I'm going to try and find some fake applause for next week. But in the meantime, it'll be just me and Mr. Ahmed. Well done. <laughs> Mr. Ahmed, Mr. Raymond, even. <laughs> That's because I looked at her ass's name. And... English as an additional language. Some of our, our new students are, are doing really well over lockdown. So well done to Edson. Edson is really trying to try and have a message in his teacher to ask for help and clarification. Well done, <laughs> Mr. Raven. Mr. Raven. So well done, Edson. And again, someone there is who's asking for help and communicating on Teams with his teacher. You don't have to speak to your teacher if you need help. If you you know, you can just message them and they'll message you back. In maths. Naima Ansa Malik completed complex trigonometry, which is probably more than I can do these days. I can't even remember how to do that. Online and engaged really well with a math teacher. Well done, Naima. In science, Lucy Jo Wilde completes all science work as soon as she gets it to a high standard. So well done, Lucy. This is really strange for me and Mr. Raymond, sitting here in an empty room. We are socially distanced, but we're clapping to a screen. MFL. Victoria Okronu, well done for completing all the tasks she's been set to a high standard again, well done. 
and in geography, Courtney Horton engaged in all online learning to a very high stand. This is really good to see. Um, well done to Courtney, well done. And just, just remember, if you are struggling to, to get yourself engaged and it's not through a, a, a lack of wanting to be engaged, let me know and we can sort your issues out for you. History. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a history one through this week, but hopefully for next week we'll have a, something through from history. In RS, Samir Ali Raja, well done to Samir. There's no, you'll see there's no comment under there. I'm only putting comments on if your teachers have given me the, the reason. I'm going to try and make sure that your teachers send the reason for, for nominating you, but well done. You're clearly doing some good work there, Samir, well done. In PE, Josh Thomas. Excellent development work in his six mark GCSE P answers. Well done, Josh. And in computer science, Zakar. Well done, Zakar Ali. Well done. Again, no, nothing there this week, but hopefully as, as we get this process working more, we'll have some, some feedback there from your teacher, but you're clearly doing some good work. In music, Kyle Whitaker for completing the work online. Also, great communication with his teacher every day. Well done, Kyle. And in art, Mahek Batul and Aras Ahmed again, well done Aras, there's two, so really engaging, well done. And Mahek, fantastic, well done, round of applause. In drama, I'm not sure we have a drama one actually, I don't remember putting on, there's no drama one. In food, Malika Dilpazir, well done Malika for take, so jumping the gun with his applause there. <laughs> For taking into consideration all of the advice given to improve a controlled assessment. So well done, Malika. I don't think we have a graphics one from memory. Business studies, Mamuna Alfaz. Well done, Mamuna. Enterprise, Darius Carter. Well done, Darius. And in media, Malika Iqbal, well done to Malika, fantastic, well done, good hard work there. And moving on to our last subject now, on to dance, this one goes to Rebecca Dyson, well done for completing her work online and always wanting to progress and improve, well done to Rebecca, fantastic. So reminders, just fine. These are just final ones from me, real. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep reiterating the same things to you though, because they are important. If you need anything, please contact your tutor. They are contacting you on a Monday uh, every week. It, now that may change now because we're starting timetable lessons. You, but your tutor will be trying to contact you every week. If you have not yet had contact, please contact them and get a number to them where they can contact you on. Um, if you need anything. You, you should have my email address or contact me on Teams. There is uh, loads of ways to do it. Contact school if you need to. Just get hold of some, myself, Mr. Raymond, or your tutor. Don't just sit there struggling, okay? Please remember that work needs completing for all lessons in order to give you a grade, okay? Don't just do your three or four main lessons and then just say, oh, I'm not going to bother with the others. It would be such a shame to get a U in something you've been doing for the last four and a half coming up to five years okay really important just do do the work send it back to your teacher and then improve it as they need you to do that will get you evidence in a file with your teacher and they can then give you a grade so essentially what is happening this year instead of an examiner giving you the grade your teacher is your examiner okay so your coursework also needs to keep doing i've just said all this but i just need to remind you really important get yourself into a routine Get yourself started, as I've just said, and that's the hardest thing. Get over the first hurdle and get yourself into the race. That's the hardest thing to do. Once you're up and running, the rest of it will start coming and, and you'll realise it's actually not that bad. Starting is always the worst bit. said this at the beginning, control what you can control. You can't control the virus or, or what's going on in society or what we're all going through. What you can control is how much work you can do. If you, If you... If your technology is, is uh, stopping you from that, let me know. And I, I do know about some people already, and I am trying to help. 
to, to make you able to do your work easier. Uh, keep going. Well, lots of people are saying that there is lots of work there, but keep going and stay motivated. Hopefully, the harder you work, the, keep, the busier you are now, the quicker this time at home will pass and the quicker we get you back to school because we all want you back in school as soon as possible. Um, finally, at the bottom there, innerdrive.co.uk, I've, I've, I've sent you stuff from, from that website before. Lots of stuff on there to help you through work, revising, um, just looking after yourself, lifestyles, staying motivation, um, keeping healthy, mental health, loads of stuff on that website. Have a look at it. Um, and if you need anything, please contact me, Mr. Raymond, form tutor, phone school, email, teams, lots of ways to do it. Stay in touch and we will be contacting you too. Stay safe and hopefully I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.